In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to work with Microsoft Copilot in Outlook and change the way you work with emails. Of course, Microsoft Copilot is a paid subscription above and beyond M365. So even if you have a 365 subscription, you will have to pay for Copilot on top. The cool thing about Copilot is that it works the same on PC or Mac. So in this example, I'm gonna work on my Mac, but this will work just as well if you're on your PC. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So you can see where in my inbox here, this is my personal inbox. So I don't have that many massive email threads, but I have done this on a few big email threads. And I can tell you the summarization is amazing. What you'll notice here is that in the top, I have this option that says summary by Copilot. And on the right hand side, I have the button that says summarize. Underneath that, I have the title of that email. And then on the right-hand side, next to the reply and forward options, there's also the Copilot symbol, where if I drop this down, I can choose to either summarize or apply with Copilot. I'm simply gonna select on the summarize option, and you'll see it's gonna scan through that entire email and create and pull out the most important points. Like I said, this is my personal email, so I don't have that many email threads, but I have done it on a few email threads and it works really, really well. But you see what it does here is it pulls out the most important information such as the sender. And if I select on their account, it actually shows me their contact details. It tells me what that email is about. So it's a notification about a new reply. It's pulled out the fact that uh, Tyrell has replied to Sniper May's comments. And then it tells me what they've mentioned. Uh, and it's just a great way of really getting a quick summary of what an email is about. I'm gonna jump over to an email that I haven't opened yet. And let's have a look at this one here. Uh, and I'm gonna go summarize by Copilot one more time. So this email is a listing for a um, for an upcoming inspection uh, for a property or the, I'm basically on a mailing list for a, a real estate agency. Uh, and it tells me it's broken it down into the location of the apartment. It's taken the key points out of the property uh, and it's told about the upcoming inspections as well. I haven't even downloaded all of the information of this email. I can go download email if I wanted to, and then I can go through and scroll through and double check. But what it's done is it pulled the most important points from here. And just to double check, you'll see here, upcoming inspection on Saturday, February 3rd and Wednesday the 7th. It's got all that information correct there, um, which is really amazing. I've not opened this email before, and it's just been able to pull the information straight from it. I can then go ahead and copy that summary if I wanted to. And I can, of course, give some feedback by giving a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So really easy. On top of any of your emails, you can simply press on that summarize button. It'll take a couple of seconds to pull out the most important information, and then it'll give you a great summary of that email. You can, of course, drop down the option and go reply with Copilot. So let's see what that looks like right now. Let's go reply with Copilot. And then it's gonna ask us to start drafting what we'd like to say. And it's gonna say, use the power of AI to help draft your emails and coach you to write better. Cool, I've got that. So of course, there's a little settings cog here. And this will ask the length of what you're trying to say. So short, medium, or long, and what sort of tone you would like to make it. I wanna make this a casual tone. But what I would like to say is, thank you for your email, comma. I will take it into consideration. I appreciate the prompt reply. So this is just a, a quick response that I'd put in. Now I'm gonna select on generate. Keep in mind, we have put in the length and the tone. I'm actually gonna change this up to a medium length. And then I'm gonna hit generate. And you see it's gonna start crafting and generating that email for me. And of course it will give us the option to review before we hit send. So you saw that I put in just a few words uh, and it has pulled some really interesting points out of here. So it says, hi, Gabby M, which was the person's name that replied on my left a comment. Thank you for your emailing interest in Microsoft Journal. So it knows that it was talking about the video of Microsoft Journal. I'm glad you enjoyed the video and learned more about this project. It's pulling some information from what they say here. Uh, you can resize your text by zooming in with the slider in the bottom right corner of the app. So this is where obviously it doesn't have all the context. It's actually making this up. You cannot do that uh, with the slider. Um, but of course it is pulling out what is general for computers. And you can also pinch and zoom with your fingers on a touch screen device. That is, is correct. So obviously here with what it's saying, because there wasn't a lot of context, it is taking taking a guess or taking a punt. And then it 
closes it off quite nicely by saying, I hope this helps you improve your experience with Microsoft Journal. Uh, best regards and my name here. Uh, of course, I can go ahead and keep it. If I wanted to make any changes here, I can ask it to. So I could say, um, make sure you ask them to like and subscribe, hit generate. And now we're adding to the prompts of that email to make it a bit more uh, personal, a bit more about what I'd like to say. Uh, and then of course, it just adds that here. By the way, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So easy. Um, of course, I can use the buttons here to jump back between the different drafts. I can keep adding to this anything you'd like to change. I can go keep it, and this would keep it in the email. I can go discard to delete it. I could go regenerate to create another email using the same prompts. So it's now giving me a third option here of what it says to, to Gabby. Um, and then of course, I can go into the options here and I can go ahead and ask it to make it shorter, longer, or even change the tone. Let's, uh, for today's example, let's make it a poem, see how that turns out. And it has now turned that into a little bit of a poem for us. I'm not gonna read this to you guys today, but you can see how quickly we've generated a reply to this email. Uh, and then of course, you'll see in two parts of Copilot here, down the bottom, it says, you can also try coaching by Copilot. And in the Copilot symbol here, we can choose coaching by Copilot as well. I'm gonna jump back so we have a general email here and we have this email written here that we could simply go ahead and send uh, but in a few seconds we've drafted a really really good email of course with copilot you want to double check and make sure the information is correct but the better prompts you give it the more accurate it's going to be for the first time it produces something i'm not going to hit send on this right now i'm actually going to create a brand new email and then of course i'm going to select on the copilot symbol and you have the option of drafting or coaching by copilot if I open up Coaching by Copilot, it's actually going to teach us how to write clearer, well-crafted uh, emails. So you land your message with confidence. So I've quickly drafted an email here. Uh, I've done it quite uh, hastily and messily. A tip here when you use the Coaching by Copilot, you have to have at least 100 characters in your email. But if instead of going draft and creating it from scratch, I'm going to go Coaching by Copilot. And this is where it's going to analyze what you've previously written and give you some pointers to make sure that you get the right tone clarity and you get your point across so it says here you got tone reader sentiment and clarity and it gives you some suggestions as well such as under uh, the tone instead of great tips you could use useful advice or helpful insights so i can just copy this here and change the word great tips to helpful insights under reader sentiment um you could reinforce the positive sentiment by saying, I learned a lot from your videos or your videos are really engaging. I can just copy that away and then add, I learned a lot from your videos. So this doesn't rewrite it for you. It just gives you some ideas of how you can make it a bit more concise or a bit nicer in terms of the tone and the sentiment. And if you're happy with that, of course, change your, um, your formatting around and hit send. But the beauty here is that you can either use Copilot to fully draft an email, or you can use coaching, uh, or you can use coaching by Copilot to improve your language, but still make it sound like you. What I'm going to do now, though, is uh, I've got my email here. I've played around with the coaching, but I actually still want it to be a little bit better, a bit more professional. I'm going to select on draft with Copilot one more time. It's going to grab what we've written. And then of course we can go in that selector again and choose to uh, adjust the length of it and the tonality. So I'm gonna make this a formal email. I'm gonna make it long and then I'm gonna hit generate. And you can see here that it has taken what we have just put in that one and a half lines. And because we've put it to a long format, it has turned it into a much longer uh, video or sorry, a much longer email. And then of course you can change things around like we did before. You can regenerate the email so it rewrites it for you. You can give it more prompts to make it a bit more specific. Uh, and then of course you can go through the options here, change the length, change the tonality. And if you're happy with it, you can simply keep it and it will update that email for you. And there you have it. It is that easy to use Copilot in Microsoft Outlook to change the way you work with emails. 
the summarization is an amazing tool that summarizes even really lengthy email threads and pulls out the key points so you can quickly understand exactly what is happening. And then of course you have the coaching and the drafting by Copilot, which helps you take a few keywords that you've put in there and draft amazing written emails in a couple of seconds. This to me is a game changer because it will help you go through emails a lot faster. It will help you be a lot more precise with what you put in there. But of course, the two caveats to that are make sure you're using the right prompts to, to ensure that the output is actually what you're trying to say. And of course, double check what Copilot puts out because sometimes it will just make things up because if your prompt is too vague, it will just draw on the most reasonable, but not always the most accurate answer. Let me know what you think about Copilot and Outlook in the comment section down below. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're on a supercharged, raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.